Now then guys, how are we doing? Thank you for joining me again as we take on Barcelona today. Now the draw has not been kind to us, as it, let's be honest. You know, we had to go up against Real Madrid in the group stages, Man United in the knockout stage, and now we're against Barcelona in the quarterfinals. Yeah, we're definitely doing this the hard way. Some big teams have already fallen. There's been some games played in the competition in the quarterfinals already. Some not so surprising results, some decent results for us. Should we get through? Obviously, that's yeah, very unlikely. We've got to be positive, though. But the one thing about Barcelona, and it's only just caught my attention, is for Ivica Panic, one of our own. And this guy is on form. He's already valued at 51 million. Obviously, we give him away 24.5 million. He's got 21 goals in 14 appearances. But I was like, oh, I'll make an offer. Look at his. Minimum release clause, £195 million. Obviously, I was never going to be able to get him back. They're paying him 200 k a week, and that is, yeah, stupid money. Absolutely stupid money. But yeah, panic could cause us all kinds of issues today, and I'm not looking forward to it. We've had a couple of games between episodes. We've played St. Johnson back-to-back. -back. Poor fixture planning there. But we beat them 3-1 at home. We had 26 shots, 15 on target. Kearney with a goal on 32. McCabe on 51. Taksanowski on 68. There, the man sent off on 86. Tate with a yellow card on 84 and then 86. And Cork got a penalty on 87. The amount of penalties we've had this season is incredible. And then we had a 2-0 victory away from home against St. Johnson. So we kept the clean sheet in this one. 27 shots, 11 on target. Kragul had a goal disallowed on 17 before Barrett. Guerrero and Taksanowski on 19 and 53 from set pieces. We've been very good on the set pieces. We've changed our team up quite a bit, especially in that last one. I think we actually had Adilson in goal. If I recall, one of those games we had him in, yeah, Adilson in goal. He didn't exactly perform well on a 6.6. Barrera had a bit of a shocker as well. Hadidi has still not really done anything. He's not really justifying his, his tag at the minute. You know, £110 million. Let's just recall that. He's now valued at £67 million. We're obviously not going to lose this guy as he is elite. He's comfortably the best player at the club. He's just not performing like it. You know, in the Premier League, he's had four starts, played six games altogether, and he's only rating at a 6.8. So he's going to be playing today. I am going to take a risk. You know, we'll have a quick look tactically. I don't know whether to go with this formation. We are at home, and this may be the way to go. But the, the problem is, if obviously Barcelona score three away goals, two three away goals, then we are in trouble, let's be honest. Van Ugen is just coming back from injury. This may not be the set team. I may change it up a little bit more. Taksanowski and around at the back is probably set. But yeah, Usami is still up for debate, as Dusek is very, very good and probably deserves a shot. I'm not sure. We'll have a think between now and the game starting. But yeah, lots to think about. So game day then against Barcelona, PSG against Milan, in the other set of games, Chelsea won 3-2 against Arsenal, and Benfica and Inter drew 0-0. So team selection wise, um, I have bottled it and we're going to go back to that anchor man. So we're going to do what we did against Man United, and we're just going to try and get out of this tie in the first leg by damage limited. And, you know, for me, as if we're 1-0 down and we've conceded the way goal and we go back to the new camp, I'd be happy with a 1-0. So we're just going to try and, like I say, maybe snatch and grab it for completely luck. If it can come away from this one with a win, you know, we did it against United. We absolutely blew them away in the first half an hour. But yeah, we're going with the anchor man. So team selection wise, then we've got Lietz in goal, Lynch, Wai, Korolev, Taksanowski and Juan Cuato with Garone in the holding role, Dusak, Hannibal and Doyle out wide with Kearney and Korto front. Now Kearney's coming in just because he's a man on fire. So from the social roundup then, Ellie Campbell says, I think this is our best team. It isn't. We've got better players, obviously, that aren't featuring, but like Hadidi's on the bench. Batron Court, Van Usian, Signorelli, that bench is absolutely packed. Sean Milne says, really impressed with the travelling supporters. They have come so far. Over a thousand miles for this match. Hashtag commitment. In the dressing room then, Barcelona unbeaten in the last six games, but I'm convinced we can end that run. Ugh. But I'm going to say we've been on a good run lately. I think that's the way to go. Right, massive 90 minutes as Barcelona are lining up with panic up front. So there you go, panic will cause us all kinds of issues today. It wasn't exactly prolific for us, but you could see that he was a real talent. And there is a highlight. As they are playing in the pink, Juan Cuato with the header away, Doyle down. Are we going to get there? Court, go on, lad. And Asman, what a name that is, Asman. Oh dear, as Clerk is through, this could be it already, and big save by Lietz, he watched it all the way, four minutes though, they're knocking on the door already, ass man, what a name, Fabio Vieira with the ball in, get it clear, Taksanowski to court, and it's gone, right, we survived the first highlight then, so that's good, as there's another throw in 11 minutes, Fabio Vieira out to Michalak, get rid of that ball, and they have scored, 
Aguila, seventh goal of the season for him. 11 minutes, we are 1-0 down. A ball across the edge of the six-yard box. Liet should maybe come out and do a bit better, but it was it had pace on it. As we see it again, you know, Vieira, ball across. Man, oh man, oh man. And we're 1-0 down already. As there is a corner then, 14 minutes. We get it clear. Why aren't we on to that? It's panic. He's well out the way. Pavard. Ball across. Korolev. Odd on a minute. Kearney. He's onside as well. As the, what, I don't know why they've gone so attacking. Kearney. Oh, it's hit the post. It's hit the post and it's gone wide. It didn't really have any options. But we break away. There may be an opportunity to hit them on the counter here. As Lynch wide end to Dusak. Lynch wide on it again. Korolev. Garone. Come on. As we've gone all the way back to Liet. We're seeing a bit of the ball now. Let's not do anything silly as Tax Ganowski to Garone. Come on. Lynch White. Let's build it up. One quarter. We're still in possession. That's all I want. You know, I don't want him to hit us on the counter. His door's got plenty of space. Ball across. Kearney's on it. Kearney! Oh, it's a big save from Luis Fernando in goal. They made a mistake at the back. It felt Kearney, but we've had some chances. The last two opportunities have been for ourselves. As there's another highlight on 23 minutes. You know, we are matching them. And as far as talent goes, yes, we have got a good squad. We're just nowhere near as talented as they are. As Hannibal, through to Kearney. Go out wide to Dusak. Dusak is direct. He loses out there, but he's going to pick it back up. It's out to Hannibal. Hannibal obviously got a red card in the last episode. Lynch wide to Garone. Garone on a yellow to Juan Cuato. There's a ball through to Doyle. Doyle, Doyle, he scores, it's one apiece, eighth goal of the season for Adam Doyle, it was tame, but he slips it under the goalkeeper, and we're back on level terms, the build-up was really patient, we had a couple of chances earlier on, as Doyle finds his way through, and that's a great finish, like I say, he didn't exactly put his foot through, it's side-footed under the goalkeeper, we are matching them here, we both had three shots and two on target apiece. As Dusak's on a 6.5, Hannibal isn't having a great game anyway, first half-wise. On 37 minutes end, ball whipped in, is over the bar. We've got to be better on set pieces. But we're on level terms. We're going to go into half-time, I think, one apiece. Vieira is dictating the game here. As there's a highlight in first half stoppages. Ball across, what a save and it's in, Clerk. Panic's involved in the build-up, and in first half stoppages, we can't go into half-time on level terms. And I'm absolutely gutted, as Fabio Vieira to panic has a shot. It's a big save by Liet, but he drops to Clerk. And there we go. 2-1 down at half-time, they've got two away goals. This is not ideal. We've been unlucky so far. Tactically, you know, defensively, do we just, do we just go for it? Do we just go for it? Garon's off. I'm going to chuck caution to the wind. We need to get a couple of goals here. Hadidi's on. Kearney and Court up front. Court's having a shocker. Signorelli's going to come on. There we go. Start the second half. Double change at half time. As we're going to go for it. In fairness, actually, we'll go for it even more. Hadidi's going to go as a shadow striker on attack. Let's go. That was the way I wanted to play Hadidi anyway. And I haven't, just, I haven't made that change yet. As luck as my back four, all on yellow cards. Korolev on a 6 point, well he's now on a 6.6, .6. Dole's on a 7.4, but there is a highlight, as they're going to play it out the back from on 63 minutes, no change is being made at the minute, as Doyle is done, as we catch them out here, Hadidi scores, it's come out of nowhere, they've tried to play it out the back, Hadidi scores, his first goal of the season for us, and what an important goal, it has come out of nowhere, all from a goal kick. Hannibal cuts it out, Signorelli first time pass, and Hadidi makes it 2-2 on 63 minutes. Milano 2-0 up against PSG as well, you know, this could be an absolute massive second leg. The away goals are hurting us at the minute, but you know, we're going attacking, we've completely changed the way we're playing. Doyle then, can he square it, can he, we get ourselves in front here, as Doyle, he's been brought down, the referee blows it, he's it, not... A 40 pointed to the spot and now they're on the counter. He's waved away the penalty appeal. As Aguilar, it's over the bar. Penalty shout there. Doyle is raging. There's another highlight though on 72. That's man on the ball. Aptly named. What a clown. Clerk. He's on a hat-trick as well, Clerk. As Michilak is through, has a crack from distance and it's easy for Liet. Liet has had a decent game. Oh, there's another, another highlight though. I want to make a change, really, as they're starting to come into it. 
Pavard to Michalak. I can't believe that we were gifted that goal as Dusak dives in and we are now on the counter. Kearney on it. We've got players overlapping. Ball through to Signorelli. Signorelli! Oh, it's over the bar. It was so close. Doyle is done. Oh, there's another highlight. I can't get my changes on. Doku to Juan Quato. Gets it clear and we're on the break again as Signorelli. Go on, Kearney's in the middle. They are marking him up. But Signorelli to Kearney. Can he seal it? He doesn't. It's tame. It's tame again as we try to hit them on the counter right. I think there's another highlight. Sod it. I need to make a change. As Van Ugin's going to come on for Doyle. All me back four on yellow cards. Me central midfielder Hannibal is on a yellow. If we don't hang on to this, you know, we've had opportunities to go ahead. As Aguilar with the ball in. Korolev gets it clean. Signorelli again. They are so open as we've give it away. Panic. There's a ball through the middle to the Della and they've scored. It's 3-2 on 79 minutes. Panic there again with the assist. Signorelli with a killer ball. Pavard cuts it out. Vieira, you know, it's panic. It's a great pass. We're so wide there. And Tadella Lieta's got no chance. So we just could not hold on. We're going to make the tactical change, yes. Oh, man. Shout. Can we demand a little bit more? I reckon that's going to be the end of the game. The last highlight as well. We've got to go to the new camp. And we've got to win. Three away goals. We're not scoring three away goals there. You know, 80th minute goal from Tadella. 3-2 down. Despite the result and pleased with your performance, second half, we were incredible. We should have got more out of that. As Lily Reed says, great game, value for money and an instant classic. Absolutely. At home as well. What a performance. PSG lost as well. They lost to Milan, which is massive. As useful hearts come unstuck is the headline. Oh, man. So there we go, guys. Absolutely massive performance from the, from the team. Unbelievable. So where are you going to join me next then? I think I did say that we were going to come back for Hamilton-Barcelona. I think that's the way to go. So we'll do Hamilton in the Scottish Cup semi-final. And then we'll do Barcelona in that away leg. So yes, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, it's been emotional. And I'll catch you later. ta -ra.